don't think just do. May the 13th, 2023. The day of destiny. I've not known how to open this video. This might be a bad video. This might be a good video. Who knows? Not such as Chesterfield for the third time this season. And I just hope it's the same result as it was at their place. It's the same referee as well. Um, yeah, this... I can't really put into words how big this game is. Um, it kind of sets for itself. It's a final. It's win. It's just about winning today. History is written by the victor. And I hope that is as... I've been through a lot of pain the last few years with this club. Four playoff defeats, one relegation. I took my phone off charge this morning on 92%. I want to be part of the 92 by the end of today. I'm pessimistic. I'm superstitious. I've not been nervous until the last few days. League two's in sight. Just need to win one game. But it's a lot more difficult than it sounds. <laughs> and this is not scanty after all. Go on, Nuts. Go on, you guys. Let's do this. Nervous, they've already gave away an indirect free kick of money out of play. 42 minutes in, still 1-0. We really need to pass them a lot more. We really do. Because they're passing us, but we're not passing them a lot. Um, we're playing there a bit around a bit better than earlier, but it's it's just breaking down in the final third. It's that last ball in the final third that's doing us. Um, yeah, we really need to press it a bit more. Maybe it's Scott and Jones's game again. Half time, Chesterfield won, knots nil, and we are not doing enough with it so far. We need to step it up a bit. We need to start running it, as I keep saying. We need to press. Jones is on for Tixon early on in the second half. Hopefully, it'll give us a bit more down the left. Um, yeah. This is our season now. We had a lot of the ball this off, but we've not. I think it was Cammy Matt missed the header from a free kick. Uh, Scott's come off Austin as well, just like we did in the ball in one game. Go on, Matthew. It's one or it's going to extra time. We never do this straightforward, do we? We're not. We had so much of the ball at the second half. We're going another half hour. The worst thing about that double goal is, is the fact that you know he was going to cut inside this. He always does it. Shoot!
to my mentor, yeah. This is the first time we've had my mentor when the scores have been level. Gummy's ball ain't caused chaos. Ruben with the, with the um, shot hit the ground, it went over Fitz Simons and into the net. This is torture. Well done, Matty. Jody, well done, Mum. That's what it goes to penalties after an enthralling half an hour. We, I don't think we've won a penalty shootout in nine in ten years. Archie makes been subbed on for Sam Slocum just before um, the end of the game. the end of our four-year tenure in the National League but it wasn't the end of the vlog it's now Sunday and oh my word because obviously I didn't um, there wasn't much footage of me reacting I wanted to show the moment in which we we did it Calvin Scott's penalty to send us back to the Football League I said before the ball mud game I've seen this story I've read this story too many times to know how it ends and that the bad times make you appreciate the good even more. This story didn't end in the way it usually does. The wheel did not fall off the wheel barrow. And we did it. <laughs> we did it at last. We're not, we don't do things the simple way. We had to against a team who probably gave us quite a few of our toughest games this season and the first half they got it spot on but when we upped the tempo and once we brought Jody Jones on a bit we started to stretch them they grew, they grew tired and to be honest when it was getting late on in the game I thought you know what it's one of them years again 
but it wasn't. I believe um, our set piece coach told John Bostock that Fitzsimons uh, leaves gaps uh, from the set pieces, and Bostock exploited it. And just like Joe, Joe, uh, Joe Bryan against uh, Brentford a few years ago for Fulham, he scored literally the exact same goal. Kyle Cameron, who was magnificent by the way, a real captain's performance by Cammy. Crosses it in and his cross causes absolute chaos in the penalty area. And Ruben Rodriguez, and as soon as he hit it into the ground, it was. I thought, you know what, this is going in. This is going over him, and he's gone in. It is carnage. Um, and yeah, from then on, we used the momentum. But when it went to penalties, we looked so much more confident. We were in a huddle straight away. One, two, three, four, five. We took a lot less time than Chesterfield to decide. Bought on Archie Mir as well. Luke Williams knew straight away what to do. And yeah, Archie Mir's the hero. And Kevin Scott gets his redemption. Oh, oh, everywhere we go. One final time this season with an outro, and this is the best one of all. You see, I've I've vlogged Saturday, I've vlogged Sunday, and well, it was longer than I expected, but it's the best. For, I tell you what, promotion is just the best feeling in the world. It really is. It's something I've never experienced before. That's the that's the first time I've ever seen knots promoted, and it, it, I I've not stopped smiling since. Not spun the penalty shootout on Saturday. It's it's been incredible. The content from the media team and see, what we watching Scott's penalty uh, time and time again, and the passion from the players, uh, the emotion from the fans as well. It just it's amazing. And then celebrating on Sunday with the players and the staff that was truly amazing. That was just being a part of that. It was just like one gigantic party really. Um, they were really enjoying themselves. We were enjoying ourselves as well. Uh, joining in with chance, uh, having a drink and everything, uh, having photos as well. It was something really special to be a part of. And that just shows the connection, the strong connection that the players and the fans have. Honestly, being able to celebrate with Luke Williams, Ryan Harley, the backroom staff and all the squad, it was one of the best experiences, one of the best days Um of my life Sunday was, Saturday as well, but Sunday really was amazing, it just topped it all off, an incredible weekend, Luke Williams, he looks like Pep, but he's twice as good, oh yeah, just experiencing promotion for the first time is some of, is some of, nobody will ever take away, the memories made from this weekend, the memories made from this season, life has its good and bad moments, and I've had tough moments, but this club, has lifted me up and bought and helped me through them tough moments and it has gave me some of the best days ever and that is why I absolutely love my football club. Does it get any better than when your head coach is riding around the city centre uh, in the early hours of the morning on a scooter saying the knots are going up? It doesn't get much better than that, does it? Thank you everyone as well for the support on the vlogs this season. Um, I'm still going. And when Ruben... Rod oh yes, <laughs> talking of um, Sunday, I started a chat with Luke Williams. And Ruben also said to me, he knows me from these videos. And that meant so much. That is summer I will cherish forever. Thank you, Ruben. Thank you to all the players. Thank you to Luke Williams, Ryan Ollie, and all the staff. 
Thank you to the Reach Brothers. Thank you to Jason Turner. That was for you. That was for you as well, Colin Slater. Another Knots legend. That's been 2022-23. If you enjoyed the vlog, if you enjoyed the vlogs over the season, comment down below. Um, like if you enjoyed this video. Like if you enjoyed the whole season. Stay subscribed if you want to subscribe. Subscribe if you're new. Be safe, be champions. And as always, to loose.